So welcome to the Canadian Museum of Nature. So we're now we're going to head into the uh, Mammal Gallery. Uh, again, the museum is closed uh, and we're here on a special pass. So uh, yeah, our pass is still good. In we go. And the Mammal Gallery really displays all of Canada's iconic mammals uh, in their natural setting. And it does that with these beautiful dioramas. Uh, clearly it's one of the more historical parts of the museum. Uh, these dioramas were created um, and painted uh, by Tolenius, an artist Tolenius. Um, and installed in the 1930s to be the earliest ones, uh, running through the 1950s. Uh, but if you think back to that time, um, people wouldn't have had the income or the means, probably, uh, to really go and venture to Canada's national parks to see these wild animals in the live. Also, in those days, there wouldn't be like high production nature TV series or like, you know, big screen digital TVs uh, where you could watch a nature show and experience it. The way you got to experience really wild animals, wild mammals in their habitat was to come uh, here to the Museum of Nature, the Museum of Natural History and see these. The investment in these was big. Um, so Tolenius uh, spent, he would go out and he would actually tent himself, like get behind a blind, so that he could experience, for instance, these bison in the wild. And then there's a special technique where he would paint on these domed, it's a dome in here, uh, to get that broad horizon feeling. Uh, there's quite an investment in making these, and when they renovated the museum, it was a brilliant de decision uh, to keep these in place. Uh, they're just magnificent. I like to call them the TV sets of their time. Of course, they're much better than a TV set, but maybe more like the TV industry of their time, at least as far as a nature channel is concerned. And here they are. So talking about Canada's iconic mammals, these are the mountain sheep. And if you know or if you've ever seen mountain sheep, you know that these guys cling. They cling to almost sheer cliffs on the highest of the Rocky Mountains. They are amazing climbers. And, interesting story. So in 2010, in June of 2010, literally just a month after the renovated Museum of Nature reopened, there was a 5.2 uh, Richter scale earthquake in Ottawa. Enough that it kind of shook things up. Uh, and, uh, and the theory was uh, that if the museum hadn't been renovated and been rebuilt from the inside out in steel, it would have had structural damage. Now, as it turned out, the museum had no structural damage. Thank God it was renovated. But one thing did happen, and the only damage we had from that earthquake is these guys fell over. Truth is stranger than fiction. With the museum closed under these very exceptional circumstances, um, we're glad that we were able to get an access pass to come in today, and that we're able to show you around uh, at least in camera, uh, the museum for this behind the scenes tour. Uh, we hope you stay well and stay safe. Uh, we'll look forward to welcoming you back so you can have a real tour for yourselves of our wonderful Canadian Museum of Nature when we open again, hopefully sometime very soon. We'll see you then and we look forward to it.